hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel with a brand new video and today in this video i'm going to show you some best windows settings change which you can do on your pc for getting or increasing the performance of your pc because a lot of people are saying i'm making videos just with the pack so today i'm making this video without any kind of boost pack by just changing these simple settings you can guys increase the performance of your pc for gaming so guys let's start over this video so guys first of all you need to go straight over your windows settings and now you need to apply all of the settings which i'm going to show you to do so here first over the search icon or the search space you need to simply type here startup application open up this option and guys here you will got all of these startup application on your windows so guys you need to turn off all of the application which you not use regularly on your windows so like for example i not use any desk the ccx process then if you go for the epic game i also not use epic game every time so therefore i'm also disabling it then here is our internet download manager we can also disable this thing here is the live wallpaper i want it then here is the uh, the starter module this is for my uh, screenshot of my screen so i'm using it so therefore i'm not disabling it here is my valorant vanguard and here is my voice meter application and i don't want to like disable it it's, this means guys just you need to disable or turn off just guys unused application which you not regularly use on your pc you need to turn off all of that background application that will impact a lot of on your pc performance so once you're done with it now you need to again go into this home section and from here now you need to guys again go for the search and just simply type here storage so you need to once you type storage you guys here you will find out an option which is the delete temporary file you need to go into this option and here it is start finding all of the temporary files from your computer and once it's done here you will go guys all this window and guys here around 17.2 uh, gb is temporary files which is guys unused or completely guys useless for me or for my pc so you need to simply click here it will start guys finding this file so here 14.2 gb is some my downloading content so i don't want to remove this file and here is my recycle bin i also want to delete the recycle bin data then here is the device driver package then here is thumbnail the microsoft defender antivirus crashes file here is the uh, some again temporary file the dx shadow cache temporary internet file and here is the uh, delivery optimization false also check mark here and guys here just these are the file which we need to delete just simply leave this first box which is your download folder because here is your all the data of your computer which you have downloaded so now click on to this remove file and here it is start deleting all of this junk and useless data from our computer so guys once it's done now again go back into the home section of your window settings and now from here now again type here for the storage and here you will find out another option which is turn on storage sense so you need to go into this option and guys here into this option you need to turn on this option which is the storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of file you don't need like temporary file and content in your recycle bin so make sure to turn on this option because this will keep cleaning your all the useless file from your pc in your background but if you want to guys save more space or more performance you guys simply turn it off so once you turn it off now let's go for our next settings you need to go into this home section again and once you are here you need to go into the update and security and here guys make sure to always go with the latest version of the windows so i have already downloaded the latest version so i just need to like install now so i will do it later so now you need to go for this option which is the delivery optimization and make sure guys turn off this option then go into the advanced settings and here you will find out the settings simply guys uncheck these boxes and go with the settings now go back go onto the main menu now go for the system option and from here guys scroll all the way down here you will find out the storage option second option is the graphic settings so you need to go into the settings make sure to guys turn on this option which is the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling turn on this option when you turn it on now go for your this browse option and now from here guys you need to find out your game which you want to play on your pc with the best performance so like for example i want to add here my fortnite i will go into the program file then epic game fortnite 
Fortnite game binary win 64 and uh, add this file go into the options add it onto the high performance hit save now let's go for our next game which is gta 5 so i will again go into the e drive then go for the gta 5 repack grand theft auto 5 here is the launcher file so i will add it go for the option set it onto the high performance and hit save once you're done guys now you need to simply turn it off and now guys you will get a huge performance difference on their windows by disabling or changing the settings so guys i hope so you love it so please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and guys also leave the honest opinion about this video in the comment sections so till at the next video guys peace out